Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got something pretty cool for you guys today. If you guys are like me, you're always looking for the biggest, best, fastest, and most expensive electric John boat motor you can find, whether you wanna put it on your kayak, big boat, I have a big heavy 16 foot. This thing's probably over a thousand pounds. It's an old like 1970 models V hole Starcraft it weighs a ton, but I got a brand new motor in the mail today from Newport FedEx guys literally just dropped it off. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys about this. So thank you to Newport for sending me this motor to try out. I'm going to put it to the test over the next few weeks, month, even year on my channel, giving you constant updates, speed test reviews, if it overheats, how well it performs. So literally just unbox it and we're going to go ahead and install it on the boat here in just a second. So currently I've already done a video on this motor, but it's a cheap old $400 one I got off eBay. If you guys are interested in that video. You can watch it. But we're gonna go ahead and take this motor off and install the new one. All right, let's go put this thing in the garage and get the other motor. So here is the brand new motor right here. Check out the foot on this thing. Pretty massive, big old tiller control, and it looks pretty legit. Reminds me a lot of an e-propulsion motor. The first thing that's already better is they've already put grease up inside here, so that makes it really easy. So haven't even really got into the product yet, but I'm already seeing that they, uh, care about the quality of their product and not just some piece of junk. First of all, I apologize for the state of my boat. I haven't used it in a while. It's a little dirty. Clean up a few things here. All right, so all in all, let's go ahead and take this off. A pretty cool feature about this boat, they have, this is the key right here. And this right here is a small little magnet right here and it connects to the top of the motor. And right there, you put it on and uh, you can tie it to something you fall out of the boat it'll turn off. So that's pretty cool. A little kill switch. So I'll probably end up putting that somewhere. One more thing that I got that's going to switch things up. The trolling motor is a 36 volt, three horsepower motor. And I got this 36 volt lithium battery right here from Newport. And the thing is about half the weight of a standard 12 volt motor. And now I have a 36 volt. The good thing about lithium is that they charge faster. It lasts longer. It'll last for years. The charge lasts longer. You can run your motor longer. So a bunch of good qualities to lithium over the standard lead batteries. Some of the specs on this motor are it's a 1300 watt, three horsepower equivalent, 36 volt DC motor. It weighs 26 and a half pounds. It's got a 9.8 inch two blade composite propeller. The shaft length is 24 and a half inches and it's got a brushless DC motor. And the sound level is about 40 decibels out of the water. Pretty quiet, 66 max miles of range. 30 hours of max run time and 1300 watts. I just hooked the motor up to the battery right here and it's showing me how many volts I have on top. I'm working at 40 volts. And uh, basically once you put the power plug on, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on for you guys. It shows me how much percentage of power I'm using and how many wattages. So if I go ahead and I turn this, it turns on and I'm, I barely got it on. I got the power on 17% and I'm using 40 watts. So as the more I turn this, the more percent of battery I use. And then once you let go, it locks in however much you want it. So if you want to put it on 69% and let it go, it's going to go at 69%. So if you guys remember my previous boat motor video I did, that motor was extremely loud. Turn this little knob. As you can hear it, it's pretty loud. This one's probably literally an eighth amount of noise. It probably makes just a little bit more noise than a regular trolling motor, but I'm going to say it's pretty much the same noise that a trolling motor has. So that $400 one I got on eBay wasn't really that fast and it was extremely loud. It was even louder than an, uh, a regular motor gas outboard motor. So this one right here is going to be stealthy. I'm going to be able to creep up on fish, going to be a lot better. We're going to finish loading up the boat. I'm going to hook it up and we're going to drive to the lake. We're going to get a test on this thing, do a little bit of fishing and uh, I'm going to run it for a couple hours, see how it does, see how much I drain the battery and check back in with you guys.
Alrighty, we just loaded the boat into the lake. And uh, let me tell you what, first impressions, just pulling this thing off the boat trailer was this thing scoots. I was probably going six or seven miles an hour, bare minimum. That's pretty fast for this really heavy boat. That uh, supposed five horsepower, uh, $400 Chinese one I got off eBay was barely pushing me four and a half miles an hour. And this one's probably going every bit of seven. So ridiculous amount of speed. We're gonna go ahead and get a test run on this and see how fast it'll go. All right, let's see what we got. a heavy boat. You remember how fast that other one pushed it? wasn't nowhere near this fast. Half It's going to make your little John boat fly, man. It's like six foot wide boat and it's like a thousand pounds. Whenever I get off the drone, I'm going to uh, get, pull up my app on my phone to see exactly how fast we're going, but I'd say six or seven miles an hour probably. Yeah. This one, it has the tiller control to where whatever speed you want it on, if you want to barely turn it on, leave it on, you know, that throttle. So we probably reached up to like six miles an hour, six and a half miles an hour on that run. I'm gonna turn this over here. I guess I'll let you get this cast in. I figured we'd head towards Airport Creek or fish this cove real first if you want. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of fishing. I'll show you guys some more about the motor, but going to see if we can catch some fish today at least. So if you guys are used to normal trolling motors to go forward, you turn that way. And on this one, that goes backwards. So you have to turn it this way. But like I can put us right here at this speed and just barely go and troll. Or you can go as fast as you want it to. I think there, if there was a crappier yellow bass, it'd be by that. Got one. Crappy. Yeah. Hey, Bert. Here you go, Bert. It's a yellow bass. Yeah. Well, we got a yellow bass today. These are a little pointy, so I'm a. I'm gonna catch you another crappy boy. Watch this. I'm gonna let it sink right by that pipe right there. Here you go, Bert. <laughs> That is a crappie. Crappie, yeah. They must just all be these little bitty ones. Make some fish sticks out of those. Well, pretty much absolute terrible day of fishing. Casted and casted. Uh, Dad had one, two or three pounder. I even tried catching some crappie and some yellow bass with pretty much no luck. But it was mainly about testing out this new motor. So the fastest I got it up to was like right at six miles an hour. But that was virtually going in the wind with a thousand pound boat. So we're about to head downwind, see if I can get a little bit more speed out of it. And then tomorrow, which will be the next video for you guys, we'll be taking dad's John boat out. 14 foot John boat, so two foot shorter than this, but it's about 500 pounds lighter. So it should make a world of difference on the speed. Should be able to get up to a solid seven miles an hour on that, on the old Lucky Dime. I'm pretty impressed with the motor. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. These things are dropping sometime in January. It's a three horsepower, 36 volt motor. So you guys be sure to check it out. And uh, without any further ado, we're going to head back towards the boat docks. I'm going to get you guys some more drone footage and uh, see if we can get a little bit faster on the speedometer. So let's try it. All right, we're moving at a five mile an hour, 5.3, 5.4, 5.6, right at six miles an hour, 
6.1, 6.2, and that's about as fast as she's going in this thousand pound boat. Well, all in all, I'd say that was a success. The motor went way faster than I expected it to be, and it's only like a $999 motor. And if you guys research a lot of these, Torquitos, e-propulsion, these things are running two grand a piece. So this one's literally half the price. It's new on the market. Very surprised with it. And tomorrow, which will be the next video for you guys, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna put it on my dad's John boat. And I suspect we're gonna get seven miles an hour out of it pretty easily. So we'll see you guys on part two.